Hello and uh, welcome back to uh, this is lecture number two. I want to go over a few uh, command. Uh, sometimes if, if you like to have a background being like this white, how to change the background color of your working drawing is you go up here to the uh, um, application menu where it says C, click on that, and then come all the way down here, click on option. And then what that happened, it opens up another window, it's right here. In this window, there's a lot of stuff you can do, but come up and change the, uh, click on the tab says color. And then you get another window, bring that in here. And here you have um, all kind of stuff, you can make a change. Up here where it says color, you can go ahead and change that, I like it back to black. And click a black and... Uh, and then you can click apply and close and apply OK. And then your background is back to where black car or white or whatever you want. OK, let's open up a new uh, drawing, a uh, blank drawing. And I want to use a transparent command and uh, line command. From here, uh, go to a home tab and from home tab, go click on a drawing panel which you have a line command in there and hit the line command and you can select the, there's a lot of options here but just click away from here on it we can also go ahead and type in in here a line and that will give us uh, also option and we can select the line when you do that uh, uh, it will ask you to specify the first point so I'm going to click anywhere and now I have the first point is asking me to specify the uh, second point in uh, civil engineering, we use coordinate system, and uh, we have other options. So if I go up, come up here, in a ribbon, select the uh, transparent tab, and then you can have a bun bunch of options. If we use bearing distance right here, or you can also use this uh, tool uh, um, uh, space right here. You can, this toolbar right here, you can select the... Uh, uh, bearing distance, same thing. So once you select the bearing distances, you come in like the Cartesian coordinate. You have four different coordinates. You got northeastern, you got southeast, you got southwest, and so on and so forth. Uh, then you have to select this. Let's select uh, uh, one at the uh, northwest coordinate. And if you just click once, and that basically bring you to uh, uh, this coordinate. And I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, wheel of my uh, mouse, and then I'm going to bring the drawing back in the middle, like that. It's asking you to uh, specify the bearing. Now remember, it goes from a north to west. And you can see the angle is 7 degrees right there. If I come up here, it's uh, 46 degrees. So it's going from north to west. It's asking you to specify that. You can use graphically, but if you know exact coordinate, you can type it in. And they usually come in in degree, minutes, and second. To do that, you can type the degree. Uh, like I'm going to say, let's make it uh, 39. Uh, 39, deg and then I hit dot. Then I'm going to make a uh, 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 15 minute, 15, 20. That means uh, 15 minute and 20 second, and I click enter. And there it is, and my line's all set, but I also ask and type in the distance. So I'm going to go ahead, tap in the distance, make it 200 feet, 200, and hit enter. And now hit escape a uh, few times to get out of this. And there's my line right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work backward. Uh, say we had a, a, we have a line like this and we want to find out, get some information out of it. We knew what this line is, we just did it. So what we're going to do, use another... Um, command and from a home tab go to analyze uh, right there and once you have your ribbon changes come up here there's something called inquiry tool click on inquiry tool so now you see once you refresh it it gives us it says north 39 15 20 west that's why we made that line and it's 200 feet long to download this exercise file that I'm using right now, go bottom of the link. Uh, uh, you can see the uh, link at the bottom and click on that. You should have this uh, file and you can go ahead and follow along with to practice. 
Now I want to talk about style. What's object, what style? And uh, the object style controls the appearance of an Autodesk several 3D objects in a drawing. The object style in Autodesk Civil 3D have general attribute like uh, uh, color, visibility, component, line types, and fill pattern. So if I go ahead and click on this uh, alignment that I did, if I just hover over or align them in, and uh, I did, you can see that uh, comes up. It says the style is proposed, name is Poppy Street, and uh, but if I click on it, that's an object. That whole alignment is one object, and the ribbon up there it will change. And I can go ahead and edit the uh, um, alignment and edit the style. And uh, hitting escape a couple of times, if I go ahead and do this corridor, and that's one object also. And if I click on it, same thing, the ribbon above change, I can go ahead and edit. If you look at the entire whole surface where we have all these uh, streets and uh, alignment going through, and you can see the contour lines, they are every five feet. And if I uh, click on one of those contour lines, and that's my whole surface. And you can see the surface. Uh, and if we go ahead and now, uh, just let me just go ahead and uh, right click. And if I can view it in the object viewer, and we can see it right here. You can pan it around. Come up up in the corner right here. On top right here it says X, so you can change it to a different view. Uh, make it realistic. Uh, you can make it... Uh, um, oh, not that one I wanted. Uh, Shaded, shaded with edges, shaded gray, 3D wireframe, conceptual, and look at the conceptual all of it too. So this is uh, the object viewer. So to give you an example of uh, style, let's just go ahead and select the surface, which is the one subject object here. Looking at the style, if so you're looking at these uh, contour line, they are five feet apart. So if we click on one of these and we select the whole entire uh, surface as one object and we can see our ribbon from the top also changes. So let's right click here and we're going to go to surface property. <clears throat> and in here in the style we can see it says a contour two feet. Let me click on it. Uh, it's two feet and uh, five feet background. No? That's the one. But we can change, let's make it 5 feet and 25 feet, and we can see the contour line changes. And when we do that, it changes right here too also. And we can go ahead and even change the style uh, to, uh, let's say, make it a, a elevation banding in 2D. And that's where you see. So now I want to change it back to where we had it. I'm going to select the whole surface and right click on it. Go back to property and come back to uh, style and change it back to uh, two feet and uh, 10 feet background design. And there we have. And now let's, we, we can also um, come in here and change the color of these contour line. Let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and select this whole thing again and come up here. Uh, when your river changes uh, up here, you can go ahead and uh, click Surface Property. And then from there, you click uh, Edit Surface Style. And now here, uh, there are a number of tabs up there. We're going to go to Display tab. From Display tab, we can go ahead and uh, change the color of the uh, major contour. It's in green, as you can see right here. We can change that green to another color. Let's make it a uh, um, uh, pink for now for uh, fun and uh, click OK and click Apply and we can see the uh, our contour line change to a pink. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to uh, um, gray for now. OK. Apply. So that's uh, just give you an idea what styles are. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and work on uh, important survey database. Just go ahead and open up a new uh, blank drawing. Once you're in here, go to your tool space, tool space right here, and go to a survey tab. From survey tab, click on survey database and right click on it, and then select set working folder. In here, you go ahead and select a place on your PC, a folder, so you can set this folder. I select a place here. I'm going to say, okay, select folder. Just place, find anywhere on your drive and select folder. Then we're going to come back again. We're going to go ahead and right click one more time. And this time we're going to say new local survey database. And it says, what do you want to name the, the database? I'm just going to go ahead and name it. Pops, Poppy, P O P P Y, and uh, click OK. That's the name of my dog. In case you want to know, and then we kind of come up here, and we see right here we have this Poppy under the uh, survey database. One very important thing. I had a lot of people come up to me. Now every time you open an old drawing, new drawing, this kind of pop up. Let me go to an older, older drawing. This is a drawing that we've been working with. And if I go to a survey tab, and you can see Poppy still there. And if I open a third drawing right here, another new one, and Poppy's still there. It will never go away. And you cannot delete it from here. The only way you can delete it, go back to where you created a folder and you delete that folder delete that folder. So I'm going to go back to my folder right here and look see where I had Poppy and there's Poppy right there. If I have to delete it from Microsoft window, once I delete it and once I turn off Civil 3D and turn it back on, then that will disappear because as you do this for a tutorial, you're going to have a bunch of these and, you, and, it, and it's going to be really uh, just uh, bugging you. And that's how you delete it. Keep that in mind. Now we have done that, we're going to go ahead and uh, import survey data. We're going to go ahead and uh, start importing that survey file. Let's go ahead and open a new file and now new civil. From here, go to a home tab and from home tab, click on uh, create ground data and hit import survey data. Then go back to the folder that we just created and click uh, Next, when you come into this uh, window, it says data in the source type. Make sure you click select a point file, and then from here, hit the plus sign. Now, when you hit the plus sign, down bottom of the description of this video. Download this file called existing ground point P E N Z D. So once you download that, put it on your computer. And then when you hit that plus sign right here, a new window opens up. Go find this file that you put on your computer. And then click open. Because I have done this a couple of times, and I'm just going to say, yeah, re import it again, you will not get that window. And now once you have that, come back to the second window right here. And you want to specify the file format. Let me open that file. The file format that we had, it was, um, let me just open it up. It's right here. You got the point number, you got Eastern, you got Northern, and you got elevation, and you got description. So we're going to come down here and we're going to select that format so it matches our format, P-E-N-Z-D. And that's what I'm going to click. And down here, also, it shows you there are a lot of points out there, probably over a few thousand. And click Next. And here we're going to go ahead with the, uh, select an existing survey network. We don't have any, so we're going to be none. Next. 
down here you can do make some selection based on what you're looking for so uh, you can keep the current line work uh, simple and then uh, uh, leave it the way it is see what happened click finish okay once you hit click OK and you should have this window and there's a lot of point there if we zoom into one of these point that's point number 1585 at elevation 92.81 and that's the ground and some of the points are pipe some of them are curved and this is how it's done 